We talked that dynamical systems are about the evolution of some quantities over time. This evolution can occur smoothly over time or in discrete time steps. Here, we introduce dynamical systems, where the state of system evolves in discrete time steps. A discrete dynamical system is like taking a snapshot of the system at a sequence of times. The snapshots could occur once a year, once every month, or even unevenly, such as once anyone coughs. For example, the pendulum in a two-dimensional is a continuous dynamical system, but a cellular automaton or Boolean networks are a discrete dynamical systems. When we take these snapshots, the idea is that we are recording whatever variable determine the state of the system, our chosen state variables that evolve through the state space. To complete the description of dynamical system, similar to continuous dynamical system, we need to specify a rule, a rule that determines, given an initial snapshot, what the resulting sequence of future snapshots must be. You already know about CAs, Let's here study Boolean networks as another class of discrete dynamical systems. You can tout of Boolean network as a directed graph G that characterized by the number of nodes N and the number of inputs per node K. Boolean models are discrete in state and time and deterministic. Each node can assume one of the two states, on or one, or off or zero. When we don't have enough information for more detailed descriptions or because of increasing complexity and computational effort for more specific models, we will use Boolean models. Boolean networks have always a finite number of possible states, 2 power n, and therefore a finite number of state transition, 2 power of 2 power of n. For example, in the graph shown here, there are 2 power of 2 power of 7 theoretically possible state transitions. The dynamics of a Boolean network are described by a set of rules. Rules such as if input values at time t is x, then output value at time t plus 1 is b. For example, in the following graph is connected to b. So the states of A at time t determine the state of B at time t plus 1. So we can define different roles for same networks. For example, rule 0 is saying independent of input, output is always 0. And in rule 4 is always 1. While rule 2 is negation and therefore the state of node B at time t plus 1 equals logical complements of the state of node A at time t. Before going forward, we need to define some terminology. A state of a network is row listing the present values of all n nodes, a sequence of 0 or 1. The system has finite number of states, 2 power n, and so, a system passes along a sequence of states from an arbitrary initial state, it must eventually re-enter a state previously passed, which means a cycle. Now, if a cycle contains only one state, it is a singleton attractor. Otherwise, it is an attractor cycle. Similar to continuous dynamical system, the surrounding region in a state space such that all trajectories starting in that region end up in the attractor is called basin of attraction. Basin of, of attraction is a mathematical object and uh, it can be computed and shown as graph for um, small networks, obviously. In biology, for example, a multiple attractor explain how the same genetic regulatory networks can maintain different stable patterns of gene activations and leads to a different cell types in multi-cell organisms. And if perturbed, 
can cause the dynamics to jump to alternative attractors. Now, if you consider a chain, um, a sequence of nodes connected to each other as a chain, and assume a state of node A is fixed, then uh, if we use role, rule 1 or 2, uh, the system will reach to a steady state after n minus 1 time steps. Let's look at another example, a ring with two nodes. If we start from both nodes on or off, 0, 0 or 1, 1, and follow the rule 1, then we stay at the same state. They are attractor of the system. But if we start either from 0, 1 or 1, 0, we find a cycle of length 2. Now if we keep the same structure and only change rule from rule 1 to rule 2, then we enter a cycle of length 4 independent of initial conditions. So for a Boolean networks, both structures and dynamic rules are equally important. One other thing which we, you need to keep in mind is that although a Boolean net has two power n possible states, but in reality always there are many fewer basins of attractions. 